up guys, testing's finished. In fact, I'm still on leathers. The guys have started packing up. But I thought before we go, before I say goodbye to my little office for the off season, I'll give you a quick tour. So, good morning test. Be careful, because there's normally a handrail here, but the boys are putting everything away, so. So it's small and cozy, as you can see, but it's everything I need. I can get my little camp bed up here. So if I wanted to lie down, with like going back to my motor home. I can do. Fridge, very important. I'm just kept clear this out already. Yeah. No, so generally, I'm not sponsored by any um, nutritional products. So I buy stuff. I find what works for me is like Irish company for fill bars. Also, Science and Sport do a good protein bar. I like the Cliff Energy bars. This is like cans of water, Coca Cola if I'm getting a bit low. And probably the most important thing in here is the clock, because this is always set exactly on the second of the circuit timing. So I would generally get changed, save my sessions at, this year we have a session at 10.30. I would leave here at 10.20 on the dot, just to give me 10 minutes to go in, talk to Perry about the bike and whatnot, and um, say about my business. Because I'm done, it's not as it would be set up, but I would walk in here generally. I have prepared my inner suits in the back of my seat, um, get slipped into them with a bit of music in the background. I've got an espresso coffee machine and here I've got some coffee stuff, pods and extra masks. Places where I put my clothes when I'm getting changed. Uh, bands for my um, warming up. So when I'm warming up, generally I would uh, need warm up my packs or do um, like just arms, stuff like that. I would normally have Fabian have this round and put it on my head. Normally, with the yellow bands a bit um, thicker, put my head through some neck exercise before I go just to warm up. My trainer Johnny sent this is my nutritional plan and whatnot for a race weekend and recovery with ice bath instructions and whatnot. But yeah. I actually don't know what's in the bottom drawer, so you might actually get a surprise in here. Oh, knee sliders. But Kev takes care of that. So yeah, this is my TV as well. So I'll always have the multi-screen going on in the background. Big screen with action, timing. So I'm watching Super Sport or whatnot. Always there's an information banner at the bottom that tells you if sessions are delayed. Then, coolest thing is my flight crate. This crate goes absolutely everywhere, it's the same crate. It can be taken from the back of the truck because there's a door behind it. And then it's just shipped to all the overseas. So because we're testing, normally these would be my race leathers. This is my winter test suit from this winter test. I was just doing a photo shoot with these on. So I'll have three test suits or three race suits always in circulation. If I crash a race suit, It'll be repaired by the Alpine Star Racing Service or it'll be completely replaced if it's um, destroyed. Then gloves, Alpine Star gloves, my kit. These are from my test this year. Let me see if I can get you a fancy pair of personalized ones I had done. These brand new personalized ones. In fact, what I'll do, if you can drop me some comments in this video below, right? Tell me what you want to see more of during the off season to give me some idea for content, I will send that person a pair of gloves. There you go, so. I'll pick what the coolest video is. Do that one, and I'll send you a pair of gloves for giving me some ideas, because my brain's mush after this year. See this, and we also carry my helmets. So I'll have, I'll carry generally, we'll carry all four helmets to races, overseas races, races uh, up, uh, probably four sets of gloves as well though to be honest once I get a pair of gloves that fit really nice fit well with the bike I tend to use them all year even if they're crashed we'll try and repair them because once they feel perfect boots I go through like quite a lot for example I put so much weight on my feet this is like from four days of testing so Alpine Stars will repair this um, this bottom of my boot because I put so much weight on the right side that um, yeah it's it, you think like you're just sat on the bike riding around that nah. you steer the bike not with your hands with your feet 
especially in the right corners, how to pick the bike up and whatnot. And up here is just bits and bobs, some more. Yeah, just bits and bobs, my recovery stuff, nutrition, some extra ugly sunnies. I haven't seen these ones. No. Thought they were different, to be honest. Um, deodorants always stink. Probably shouldn't see this, but it's not very um, polite or hygienic, but the dirtiest thing in here is my piss bottle. This is actually a piss bottle because some tracks we go to, the, the toilets are so far away from the box. Not all the circuits have toilets inside the box, so don't think that I'm trying to pee inside a little bit. There's quite a big, a big gap to get in there, so I drop my, my boyo in there and um, get a lot because I always, it's weird actually, I need to pee a lot during race weekend because I'm so, so hydrated, probably over hydrated to be fair, and I think nerves make you pee more. Then my mechanics personalised this wall for me when I was uh, a couple of years ago, it's actually an old suit, I think it's from 17 maybe. And a um, little slogan that we batter around Team 65, dream, believe, achieve, so what else do we have that's interesting? Lots of monster caps up here. I've got my ice machine somewhere. Bits and bobs, chargers and whatnot. And these drawers. We've got all these A-stars in our suits. Towels, all nicely. Wet suits. We haven't made it wet suits this year. Which is pretty much like a, I don't know. We nickname them a condom suit. Do you want to see a wet suit? Pretty much like a cycling wetsuit, but it's like an extra skin. Almost like a plastic -y. thing. So I put this over my leathers, it's see-through, so you'll see, you'll still see sponsors through it. And flexible in all the right places. Kev's gonna kill me, because that's not exactly how I got it, is it? In the bottom drawer, what have we got in here? Yeah, more monster caps. Tennis bots, a bit of reaction stuff. These, right? Whoever makes these, Kev has, we have to buy these, so. They're, I don't even know what brand they are. But I use earplugs, damn earplugs. I think they're just like a biker earplug. Cheap and nasty. Not nasty, they're actually cheap and one of the better ones. I've had ones that, I've had earplugs in the past that are molded for my ear. Before, I find them too like intrusive. So, these little soft ones, whack whack them in, they're good, so. Yeah, that's my room. There's not much else going on. Got fancy personalised mats, and um, I would run about 70 kilos, plus minus a kilo, and that's to just keep track of fluid loss, so I'd weigh myself before a session, after a session, and um, yeah, that's about it, so hope you enjoyed this little tour, I'm going to go now and get out of these letters, back to the hotel, for a nice uh, feed tonight.